It is so wide and you would see on the highway in a few minutes it's gonna take like two lanes pretty much you can see that how wide it is right okay oh shit the rear escort vehicle is stuck between that truck on the behind you can see. is this just one lane uh uh i think this is counts as one lane guys right so hopefully we're not gonna get stuck guys If you're wondering why am I not using this camera angle, because I feel more confident using this camera angle. Hello guys, welcome back. So in this video, we are going to deliver a very special transport again. And I think this is actually one of the most uh, hardest special transport that you could do. And it is a whole truck chassis. Now, I'm saying this is very hard because I've tried this before and I think... Uh, the size of it just makes it so hard. So we're just gonna do this today, but before that, I'm gonna buy a new truck first because uh, right now I'm using a Volvo FH 8x4 and I wanted to unlock an achievement that requires me to use every single truck brand in this game for an, uh, at least 999 kilometers. So yeah, right now we're just gonna buy a Scania, uh, same 8x4. We are going to buy um, this one, Scania R High Roof. I'm just going to customize the configurations to 8x4. So it's going to be sufficient for me to deliver the haul truck chassis. Uh, very good uh, engine, high power engine and the gearbox as well. And I guess that's pretty much it guys. I don't really have to do anything else. Maybe use this thing so it will look actually kind of like a special transport as well. Okay, confirm. It's gonna be 328k and I'm gonna purchase this thing. Oh, trade in my truck, no problem. Okay, we're just gonna skip this. Oh, I need to go to sleep as well, guys. So, um, the freight market for that haul truck chassis is at London. Let's see, London, where's London? London. Okay, still so available, only uh, 46 hours left. Not only, actually, still 46 hours left. So right now, we're just going to travel to my garage in London, guys. Where is it? London? Okay, London. Okay, because I am very sleepy, I'm just going to sleep first. And I didn't realize I bought the right-handed truck. Freaking hell. I didn't realize that, guys. I'm supposed to buy the left-hand drive one. I'm not very used to right-hand drive, even though in my country we drive right-handedly, but in this game I'm used to driving left-handed. Ah, but it's no problem, we're just gonna do the job right now, guys. Uh, not this one. Okay, this one. So that is cheapest destination, and continue. Okay, let's go. Let's do this. Wait. Why is the engine sound so smooth, bro? I don't... Like, you can almost, like, not hear anything from inside the interior. That's kind of crazy, actually. Or is it because of my volume too low? Maybe. I'm just gonna increase it a little bit. Okay. Hopefully you can still hear it in the video, guys, because I don't really know what is happening right now. Okay, no one there. I am so not used to driving right-handed in this game, guys. It's so weird for me. Oh shit, this... yeah. That's why I said I'm not used to it. Exit now. It feels like I'm leaning like... kind of like this driving right-handedly. It's weird. Okay, the play is gonna be at the left. And then turn left. Okay. Nice ride. Take the job right now. Okay, so there's gonna be a cinematic and you will see how big this thing is. I mean, in terms of length, it's not that long. It's pretty much not that much different to a normal cargo, but the width, you can see that it, it, it is so wide. 
and you would see on the highway in a few minutes it's gonna take like two lanes pretty much you can see that how wide it is right okay now let's do it Recomputing. let's see the size once again you can see it's very wide guys compared to my truck it is very wide lengthwise like i said it's not that long it is it's still pretty long but it's not that long you know so we're just gonna do it right now of course there's gonna be a lot of escort cars to protect us from the civilians uh, we're gonna take the left lane right this is england this is london bro It's not gonna be hard like in the first few roads like this because uh still pretty wide pretty wide road but once you get to that kind of like a bridge when it's only one lane that it when it gets uh kind of tricky and what is the weight for this one by the way like 40 tons probably and my truck is having a pretty hard time with that i feel like my volvo is actually easier with this one uh, like these heavy cargoes. I've done this once before. I don't know if I already said it or not in your video But yeah, I've done this once and I didn't make a video about it, you know, just testing a little bit just curious about how hard this thing is and It's actually pretty hard like you can see that on the steam uh, app there's actually an achievement to uh, deliver this thing three times the whole truck chassis three times there's no other achievements for the other special transports, only for the haul truck chassis. That is how hard it is. Changing lane maneuver. I don't think it's necessary because I'm taking up two lanes right now. I'm not gonna change any lanes. Go straight on. Please keep the cargo between the escort vehicles. Okay, front escort vehicles going to warn other drivers. Okay, so, um, okay, I thought this was gonna be kind of hard. But turns out it's still two lanes of size for this road, so it's no problem. The problem is when it gets to just one lane road. Like, it's gonna be very tricky, guys. I've been there before and um, uh, I have to, like, save and load a few times. And it's going up hills. Uh, my truck is getting so slow. Okay, then. It's fine now. Okay. Gonna wait for the rear escort vehicle. Where is it? Okay, it's there. You can see it from the bridge on the bottom. Okay, let's go. This truck is 580 horsepower, my Volvo is 600 horsepower, so it's not that much difference uh, in terms of power. But somehow this truck feels like a lot uh, less powerful, like maybe so much less powerful in terms of uh, power. Like it's supposed to be not that much different, right? I mean, it's only 20 horsepower of difference, so yeah, I don't know why is it this slow. It's supposed to be quicker than this. Okay, changing lane to there and I'm still gonna have to oh there's some space on the left so I can actually be in the middle right now guys maybe to the to the left a little bit yep like that so the people on my right side can actually overtake me and be fine with it okay we are turning left if this is gonna be one lane it's gonna be tricky guys let's see Oh, it is one lane, but there are a lot of space around us, so there's really uh, not anything going to be stuck. You can see those flags on the back, right? Those are the things that makes me stuck a lot of times on the fences on the roadside. That is the main problem. The chassis is actually uh, it's wide, but the problem is on the flag on the back right there. It just increases the difficulty a little bit. Well, actually, uh, a lot more, maybe. Oh, I haven't turned on the beacon. It's on now, okay. The mirror on the right is supposed to be like... 
Keep like the view is supposed to be a little bit like that, right? I mean, on. on the center like this, I can't really see the mirror. Like, you know, the view is not very good for this truck, guys. I don't really like it. Okay, turning right. Alright, wrong camera angle. I feel kind of confused, like, with this right-hand side of driving, guys. I've said this many times already. 84 kilometers left. Keep right, and then continue straight on. Okay, changing lane maneuver again. I don't know why is it doing that. And why is it breaking in the middle of the road? I'm talking about the escort vehicle, by the way. What the hell is this? What? What the heck's going on? Oh shit, the rear escort vehicle is stuck between that truck on the behind. You can see it uh, yellow behind the truck. So this happened before guys, so I can't really do anything like the escort vehicle in front of me is not gonna move unless the rear escort vehicle is actually behind me. So I'll have to do this thing is safe and load. Uh, a few minutes ago, maybe this one. So we have to do this, guys. If it uh, if that kind of thing happens to you, we have to do this. It's going to reset the traffic and... Ready to yep, roll. we can go again. Yeah, I just have to do it. Keep right and then continue straight on. It's kind of frustrating sometimes if you don't know how to do it. This thing is so wide. There's an escort vehicle on the left. It's not an escort vehicle, but it, the color is pretty much like that. Pretty near to hitting it. It's not really going to be a problem uh, just driving on an empty road like this, being escorted by the vehicles. The problem is when you get to a tight places with this thing, guys. Like this, this thing is no problem at all. I mean, the road is pretty much blocked by the police and the escort vehicle. So yeah, there's no challenge in this one. Like I said, the challenge is gonna be at the tight places. That is the real challenge. And actually, guys, uh, when that thing happened, like a few minutes ago, when the front escort vehicle doesn't want to move because the rear one uh, is stuck behind a truck. That actually happened to me on the previous special transport that I did, and, and it's also a haul truck chassis. So, I didn't know what to do at that time, I didn't know that you could actually save and load. So I just tried to overtake my front escort vehicle, and I thought it was going to be a fail, because usually, when you overtake the front escort vehicle, it's just going to uh, end your special transport job, and you have to either abandon the job, or restart from the last checkpoint. But I just chose to overtake and actually there's no um, sign that I failed the job or I have to retry the job again. No, it actually worked until I get to my destination. It's kind of crazy. I was kind of shocked like how did that thing happen? Like usually it fails my job, right? But that was a real chance because there's, there's no one escorting my... Uh, my truck and my car go but there's so much traffic near me so the cars were overtaking me and just you know like a normal road so it's a lot much more harder the hardest part is when i actually got uh, get to the destination and i'm trying to get into the factory you know like the i don't know the the harbor maybe i don't really know what that place is but yeah that was very hard because there's a lot of cars near me and that was pretty fun actually to be honest so yeah a little bit of story from me okay so uh oh this is gonna be kind of hard I, oh wait wait is this just one lane uh uh i think this is counts as one lane guys so i need to reverse a little bit rear escort is so pretty far from me yeah it's too tight guys i need to Go to the right a little bit. Maybe this would work. I really hope so. I just need to stay on the right, guys. If it's right-handed. If it's left-handed and we're turning uh, right, 
we need to stay on the left as much as we can and i guess it's working right let's see yes it is working good thing that there's no fence on the left side it's only on the right side because if there's a fence on the left side that is gonna be so hard guys uh maybe on not on this kind of road though because it's, it's still pretty wide but if it's narrower than this it's gonna be a real challenge yeah that's still very fairly easy and you can see the cars are just waiting for me to pass through that's nice when you're not escorted like what i just did on my previous job the car was just you know going around and don't care that i exist and that is very very hard and i'm saying this once again guys i don't like how the mirror on the right i can't really see it unless i do that that sucks only nine kilometers eight kilometers left right now so i guess we're not gonna go into a tight place like what i just experienced on the job that i did this kind of job actually the, pretty much the same job this thing is so wide guys oh this is gonna be this is gonna be kind of hard i feel it's kind of tight and we need to go straight. Hopefully we're not gonna get stuck, guys. Exit now. If you're wondering why am I not using this camera angle, because I feel more confident using this camera angle, guys. The first camera angle. Okay, a little bit to the right, I guess. Yep. Okay, nice. Okay, destination is gonna be at the right, guys. And I was talking about this, like, when I overtake the escort vehicle, and I was doing this by myself, those cars right there, you know, that's waiting for me, it's not waiting for me, so they're just going past through me like that, and it's just so hard for me, guys. If it's like this, it's gonna be very easy, actually. Nice. That is actually a very good maneuver for me, guys. This job uh, is fairly easy. If there are some tight places, I've said this many times already. It's gonna be more interesting. This is not that interesting, to be honest, guys. Oh, there's a there's a freaking news reporter on there. Okay, let's see it once again. Okay, press T. We are done, guys. I got an achievement, one more achievement that is called not a big problem. Don't really know what that is, but this is an excellent quality. We got 300 XP, 8,000 euros. That is nice. Okay, guys, I guess I'll end it here. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye.